Hi, I'm Jory Hadsel, and I'm here to show you today how you can subscribe to discussion boards in Desire to Learn. So let's get started. The first step is we're going to go into the course, and of course we'll go to the discussions link. And here you'll see, even on the forums and topics list, you have these little yellow stars. These stars um, delineate whether or not you've subscribed to a particular topic or a forum. So for example, in this case, I have subscribed to the student questions and answers topic because this star is yellow. Um, I have not, however, subscribed to the introductions topic because this star is not active. So there are two ways you can subscribe. The first is from this screen, just click on the star. It's going to bring up this dialog box that gives you an option. It's going to send email messages to you at your email address and you can actually decide do you want to receive messages once per day in a digest format or do you want to receive notification of new posts immediately your choice you make the call we'll choose immediately in this case and then we'll click yes to actually subscribe now you can see that I'm subscribed to that topic the other way to do it, to go into the topic you want to subscribe to, here's a listing, and again to cl click this link with a star that says subscribe to topic. The same dialog box comes up, we'll to choose digest in this case, and we'll click yes to subscribe. Now another thing you could do is you can actually click this button that says subscriptions. And what that does is that gives you a screen where you can actually manage all of your subscriptions on one screen. So you can see um, here I have this topic of student questions and answers. It has three messages and I've set it for once per day. And the introductions um, topic only has one and I've set that to notify me immediately. It's just that simple. And then once you're done with your um, changing your settings, Go back and watch your email and you'll see those notifications come up in your email account. I hope this has been helpful. If you have questions, give us a call or an email and let us know. We'll be happy to help you out with it.